You can now speak any language with AI. So I want to go over the five best applications to allow you to do this. And just keep in mind, I wanted to cover all use cases. So some tools are for speaking face to face, some are for working, some are for content creation and more. Tool number one is an easy one that I think most people know by now. It's called DeepL. As you can see here, it's best for just, if you're talking to someone on the go, you want to write how to do something in a different language. And as you can see, it's got a very simple interface. You just put in what you want to type here and then you choose the language you want to translate it to. So I'll just do a test, I'll do English to German and it's pretty much as easy as that and what's really good about this compared to something like Google Translate is sometimes when you use Google Translate it will translate the words literally which might not make that much sense in the native language but I feel like a deep L at least somewhat understand context I'm not going to go over this one too much because I think it's pretty self-explanatory now I'm going to go over tool number two which is HeyGen or 11 Lab. and personally I think this one's really good for content creation and as you can see here they've actually got something called a dubbing feature and this is really good for content creation what it allows you to do you can upload a video or you can just give it a link and and it actually fully translates it. So I'm just going to put in my dubbing name here, Roman. I'm going to select the, the language, English, target language. We'll go German again. Cool. You're just going to take a link. And then what you're going to do, you're going to copy and paste the link from here. You're going to put that in the 11 Labs one. And before you export, you can go to advanced settings. You can look at number of speakers. And actually what they do is they clone your voice. So it sounds like it's you speaking in that native language, which I think is really cool. Um, so that's why it says number of speakers in case there's three people. So it has to clone three different voices, uh, video resolution, I think self-explanatory and then you can add some time for it so I'm just going to do a short one just so it's quick and easy to export so let's put zero 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 to zero zero one so this is hours minutes seconds I'm just doing from zero to one minute it's done so let's see how, how it did personally I don't speak German but I've used this tool before and showed it to people that do and apparently it works pretty well and before we move on to tool number three I will just give a quick note to HeyGen as a little bonus tool it's pretty much just using 11 labs and I found it to be a little bit more expensive personally while we're speaking about content creation tools for translation um, I think I should mention HeyGen because I think they're the first ones to lot over this but personally I've always found 11 labs the best and cheapest to use as you can see here they're even powered by 11 labs tool number three is some live translation by Samsung phone with tool four and five I'm gonna be looking into live translation so ways you can speak and automatically translate as you speak this one's a little bit more futuristic and there aren't really too many products that do this right now but I've noticed two great applications in this field one is built into the new galaxy phone which I'll, I'll look at now and i'll show you the other one after which is a little bit more free and open source This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. This is what it sounds like when you're trying. This one looks proper crazy and I'm really excited to see the future of this. We did see a little bit of something like this with the AI pen. Yeah, I just think this looks super cool. Translating a call. Oh. Hola. Esta llamada se está traduciendo y subtitulando de forma simultánea. I'm not going to show you the full video because I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but just to show it, it looks pretty cool. The next tool is actually done by Meta and they've open sourced it, which kind of does the same thing where you speak in into a video and it translates it live. You can see a few demos here, which Hugging Face, you can usually use it for free, but they've actually got like a personal demo page, as you can see here, where it translates the video live and it tries to emulate the tone of how you're speaking, which looks really cool. The next tool we're going to look at is Text Cortex and this one's the best for while you're working so you can actually download a extension and by going to google typing in text cortex extension get add extension and with this you can have an extension that helps you wherever you work so let me give you an, an example on gmail let's say i want to write a message i want to say hello so let's say i'm writing a message to my friend in germany i will say hello nice to meet you sorry about the message i wasn't really sure what to say and then as you can see here now i've got these features that let me 
translate anything so i'm just going to highlight it click these buttons here and then go to translate go to german then i just copy it and paste it and again this doesn't have to be just for gmail it's got tons of different use cases another thing i want to show you about text cortex is if you actually go to their website and you use xeno you can actually ask their model about how to say things in a different language so for example how can i compliment so i can ask it how can i compliment someone in german and as you can see it's kind of better for brainstorming things in different languages and not just straight translation if i've missed any feel free to let me know in the comments i'll see you in the next one